much longer we gonna roam around this godforsaken desert. There's nothing here but sand and mega flies. Ouch! Mm. See what I mean? Take it easy, big part. We'll head back to town soon. But first, I want to check out prairie people territory and getting some strange energy readings from there. Mm, I knew it. More sand and more... Ouch! Mega flies. Have you measured the prairie people valley on all sides? Yes, Commander. Measurements are finished. I don't think we'll have any problem. Hmm, good. Then start putting the force field beacons in place. Yes, Commander. That's the prairie people's valley. What in tarnation's going on there? Not sure, but that looks like a Galaxy Council ship. <laughs> and it is. Must be something important. There's a Galaxy Commander in charge. Let's check it out. Howdy, Commander. I'm Marshal Bravestar. Hmm, Bravestar. Bravestar. Oh, yes, I I've forgotten that new Texas had a marshal assigned to it. Hello, I'm Commander Wall. I'm pleased to meet you. What's going on here? I wasn't informed that a Galaxy Council ship was in Prairie People territory. Mm, no reason you should be. This is Galaxy Council business, so if you'll excuse me. Mm, hold on there, lady. This is Marshal Bravestar you're talking to, and he's the only law there is on this planet. Well, there's a higher law here now, me. So I think you'd better inform your robot horse that I'm this close to sending him to a galaxy robot farm. <laughs> what? Hey, easy, 30-30. Disarm him. Oh, no, you don't. He won't. If you attempt to use that primitive weapon, its energy will be turned back against you. Well, I'll take my chances against your robots. Hard, no! She's got an energy wand! <laughs> Lordy B! Sarah Jane's shot got sucked right into that wand! Your violence will now be returned. Not this time, Commander. <laughs> On this planet, Commander, all violence is wrong, including yours. Marshal, I've got a job to do here. If I have problems, I'll have to call in Galaxy Fighters to help me. I've got a job to do, too, but I can't do it right if I don't know what's going on. All right. We're going to need some volunteers to put up fences, so we might as well be told. Fences? Yes, for the tunnels. Galaxy Council has decided that the natives of New Texas, see you call them prairie people, I believe, should be confined to a secure area. What? What, what, what do you mean by a secure area? Oh, uh, it's just another way of saying prison. Why are you doing this? For the prairie people's own good. There's a lot of carrium in their land, and it's causing problems. Nothing I can't handle, ma'am. It's already been decided, Marshal. When that force field is switched on, no one will be able to get in to bother the prairie people. Hmm, and the prairie people won't be able to get out. Well, why would they want to? Their little kingdom will be completely safe. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Come on, pard. Let's go see Chief Tussle. <laughs> That's the story, Chief. The Council has decided that the Prairie people must stay inside the force field for safety. It's not possible. Prairie peoples always have freedom to go where we want to go. I not like this. Me neither. Me beat Earth history. Galaxy Council treat Prairie people like Indians treated a long time ago. Same thing. Try to put us on reservations. We fight! Oh, no. Fuzz, you're a deputy marshal. You can't disobey the... Me can. Well, if people is my people, I not want them living reservation with dogs and force fields. Me become deputy again when well, if people be free. 
You see, my people is very angry. I'll do what I can, but the force field will be in place soon. And Commander Wall's getting together a crew of volunteers to fence off some of your tunnels. Fence off our tunnels! You sure they're fencing off the prairie people tunnels? <coughs> and stop that coffin before I make you eat that cigar! Yes, it's <coughs> true! It's order from Galaxy Council! Those furs rats are living on top of the biggest carrium deposit on New Texas. And I've never been able to get in there to steal it. Thunderstick! I want you to take a message to the dingoes. Right, right, boss. Right away. You blunderhead! I haven't told you what to tell them! Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, what did you want me to tell them, boss, boss? Oh, idiots! I'm surrounded by idiots! Tell them to go volunteer to help fence off the Perry People Tunnels. And while they're at it, they should steal all the carrion they can find. And bring it to me! Mmm, <laughs> sure hate to see those force field beacons going up. So do I. But we can at least make sure there aren't any other problems. Oh, why do you always say that? Nothing wrong with a problem or three. <laughs> That's why I got Sarah Jane. Hey, Pard. How come you always want to settle problems with a weapon? It's not right, you know. Uh-oh, I feel a lecture coming on. All right, no lecture. Come on, let's see if anybody's volunteered to put up the tunnel fences. You get all the little sand rats out of this section. <laughs> Good. Let's get them out of that far section and see if there's any carry them around or steal. Hey, what's going on here? You believe that? Prairie people not be locked in. A fighting desert rat. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't got time to waste, friend. We gotta put up these gates to protect you. Now, either you come out, or we're coming in to get you. Okay, come get me. Let's go. <laughs> There, those sidewinding dingoes are up to something. You might be right, big part. Let's check them out. Quick, oh, that tunnel over there. Hey, where'd that come from? What's going on here, Chief? I should be tell you before, Marshal. Party people's not be fenced in. Afraid you don't have a lot of choice. Commander Wall's ready to turn on the force field. We will be free! Look! We will fight to be free! If we have to! You might not know it, Chief, but you've just declared war, and it's a war you can't win. Do you know what it means to go to war against the Galaxy Council? Only know that Pally people is not living in prison. I understand your feelings, Chief. I'll talk to the Commander again. Very thanks, Marshal. But remember, Pally people is ready to fight for freedom. Very people won't let you put in the rest of those force field beacons without a fight. Hmm. Those little desert creatures would dare challenge the power of the Galaxy Council? I can't believe that you don't understand what people will do when you try to cage them in like animals. It's for their own good. You have no right to tell them what is or isn't right for them.
Well, I'm sorry, but I have no choice now, Marshal. I'll have to call in reinforcements. We can't have a war on our hands. What are you gonna do? For now, make sure the prairie people don't get hurt. And for later? I don't know. We'll have to play it as it comes. This is Commander Wall. I need additional support to complete my mission. The forces you need to do the job are near you. They will be sent at hyperspeed. Meet them and guide them in. Thank you, General Graves. Well, the war they want, I'll give them one. Better tell Chief Tussle that the commander's calling in reinforcements. I think it's too late, Marshal. <laughs> it's a troop carrier with Commander Wall's ship. Wake up! Chief, wait! No, no, Marshals! Wait is over! Now it's time to fight! I can't let you do this, Commander. You're not in charge here, Marshal. This is for the good of the prairie people. Right. If the prairie people won't let us set up the force field that will protect them here, we'll take them to a planet where we can protect them. This is Commander Wall. We're going to have to move the prairie people out. Send out more robot troopers. Right away, Commander. This is crazy. Are you trying to protect the prairie people or destroy them? I'm just a good soldier, Marshal. I do what I'm told. Prepare to move the prairie people out. Mm, I don't know about you, Marshal, but I ain't about to let those clunkers get after my little prairie buddies. We gotta do this the legal way, Pard. You say you've got orders. What if those orders were changed? Well, then I change my action. All right, give me the time to appeal your orders to the Galaxy Council before you move in. That'd take at least 24 hours. So what? You've got your troops in position. If they move in now, we're gonna have bloodshed. Oh, the Council will never see you. That's my problem. Will you wait? <sighs> All right, Marshal. You've got your chance, but only for 24 hours. After that, we move in. And if the Prairie people try to resist, well, I won't be responsible. Gonna have to do this one on my own, big part. You stick around here and keep an eye on things. You can count on it, but are you sure you can get into that council? I'll find a way. And so the motion is passed. The next order of business is the question of... No, you can't go in there! Howdy, I'm Marshal Bravestar. Afraid I didn't have time to make an appointment. The Council knows who you are, Marshal. You've chosen a very unusual way to ask for a hearing. Didn't have much choice, Counselor. This is an emergency. All right, let's hear what you have to say. You know about the Prairie people? Of course. We are very worried about their safety. That's why we sent Commander Wall to New Texas. Now I understand you're trying to stop her from doing her job. Why? Counselor, I'm just a Marshal on a small planet. I don't know much about what goes on here. But I do know something about people in general, and the Prairie people in particular. You see, I don't think you can take a bunch of people who are different, like the Prairie people are, and tell them what's good or bad for them. You know, some people call them Prairie Rats and Fuzz Bunnies, but they're not. They're people, just like you and me. And they love their freedom, just like you and me. That's why they don't want anybody telling them where they can go and where they can't go. Seems to me that's what freedom's all about. And if the Galaxy Council isn't gonna support freedom, who is? That's about all I got to say, except that I hope you make the right decision. Because the Prairie people aren't about to let those soldiers take them away from their home. They can hardly resist our galaxy forces. Maybe not, but they'll fight back with everything they've got. And I'll be right there, fighting alongside them. Uh, uh, 
<coughs> well, well, we'll consider your request. Would you wait outside, please? Yes, sir. Well, time's almost up. Yeah, I know. I'm afraid I... I wouldn't be too hasty if I was you, ma'am. Look. They can't resist my robot troopers with clubs and lassos. No, they've got a little more than that, Commander. Sarah Jane and me. Robots, attack! What's that? I think I know. Hold on there, Commander. Here's an order from the Galaxy Council canceling the Fairy People's move. Call off your robots. What? Well, it's too late. I can't stop the robots once they're in attack mode. Well, I can. Robots just can't keep things together. Hot dog! Time for robot stomping! Have you two met before? Too many of these robots. Part inside that troop ship. Keep Sarah Jane ready. Sarah Jane's always ready. Strength of the bear! bear. bear. Okay, big part. One, two, three! We did it, big part! <laughs> you, me, and Sarah Jane. I regret the problems I've caused you, Chief Tassel. It's all right. Me understand you have big jobs to do. Sometimes people with big jobs lose sight of the little people. But with a champion like Bravestar around, I don't think the Prairie people have anything to worry about. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate your saying that. And I admire your courage in admitting that you made a mistake. And I admire you, Fuss, for sticking up for what you believe is right. How about pinning this back on? Oh, thanks, Mouse. <laughs> Me happy again. In today's story, Fuzz had to stand up for something he believed in. Have you ever had to stick up for something you thought was right when everyone else tried to change your mind? I'm sure it was hard. But don't let anyone talk you into doing things that you know are wrong. Things like trying out drugs, stealing things, or joyriding, just because they say it'll be all right. If you know it's wrong, say no and mean it. Be like Fuzz here. Stick up for what you know is right. <laughs>